Good afternoon. Welcome to your Monthly's World of Weather. It clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for September 3rd to the 17th. For September 3rd to the 7th, the forecast hasn't changed very much. We still have a ridge here near the Aleutians, trough here over the Northeast Pacific or Eastern Pacific, ridge in the West, trough here in the East. But then um, the trough will gradually lift as we go through the period to the next period. Now, the West will experience hot temperatures. Uh, possibly into uh, next week under the strong ridge and then we'll have a front here near the Gulf Coast states uh, along with several pieces of energy that will cause heavy rain and storms and look at that this is a surface map and then we'll look at that here at the surface you see we have rain and storms here across that air, um, area and energy would track across the northern states and the Great Lakes and send a couple of fronts through. See, we have it like that. I don't know what happened here. These were loaded before. And then we'll have a couple of fronts that will move through the North Sea you can see right here. Okay, we're going to look at the pair for September 8th to the 12th. And um, a trough lifts out of the northeast followed by rising heights. And a zone of flows forecast across the northern states with the ridge here in the east. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures for much of the country. And expect anomalies to be near 12 degrees above normal or more in some locations, mainly across this area here. And for precipitation, calling for... Below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is near 35, uh, 35 to 40%. Above normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%. Looking ahead for the period for uh, September 13th to the 17th, a uh, zone of flows forecast across the nation by most models. But if you look at the GFS ensembles, it has a trough here. In the heat in the west, gotta see if that verifies. But all in all, we're expecting weak height anomalies. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for a little change in the precipitation and little change in the precipitation anomalies from the previous period. Now we're going to take a look at the tropics. And we're going to take a look. Here's the goes imagery. Here's the system that we're watching. It has an 80% chance of probability. We also have a system um, up further to the north. And that also uh, has a pretty good chance of forming uh, further up here on the map. But this is the system that we're watching here. And um, this all depends on where the trough forms that we have in the east now. Does it if it, first of all, if it remains weak and doesn't develop and continues further, it can develop closer here to the coast. Also, if there's a trough here in the east, the flow will be southwesterly and it will take it out, as the models are indicating. This is not set in stone. But um, if, the, if the trough here, um, if it misses the trough, then it can continue to move to the um, to the west northwest, and we'll have to see how it goes. But um, here's our one system that we're watching. Here's the system here, the one that has eighty percent chance of probability of development, and we'll watch that. As it gets picked up by the trough, see, and keeps it out to sea. That's a possibility. And that's the GFS. I will take a look at the European. Also takes it out. But again, this is not set in stone. The system hasn't even developed yet. And there's a lot um, that can happen in the meantime. So um, then we have our other system here. To the north here that can form into a tropical system subtropical system as we go through the period 
Okay, that's it for now. Oh, no, if there's anything else I want to show, we went to the satellite. Oh, the models. Here's what the models are showing here. Then we'll take a look at the other models. All taking it on a west northwest track. Then we'll look at the late version. See, they're all taken out. A few um, outliers for now, taking more to the west. Here's the strength that's supposed to get up to a Cat 4. I don't know if that's possible, but anything is at this time. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for September 3rd to 17th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mungley's World of Weather and have a good day.